Amsterdam, the capital and the largest city of Netherlands, is not only a city but a country in itself, a small nation inside a larger one. Located in the North Holland province, to the west of the country, ranking a sixth largest metropolis in Europe with a population of around 6.7 million. The city progressively spreads across the country with a sense of strong and intense nationalism and protection for heritage and culture. The river Amstel terminates in the city centre and is distributed into various canals across the plains of Amsterdam with settlements around it. With the proximity to the North Sea, the city of Amsterdam is located just two meters above the sea level and enjoys a temperate climate most of the time of the year. Comprising of 219.4 square kilometers of land, the city is intensely urbanized with 12% of natural reserves and parks. Amsterdam is an exciting cosmopolitan, rich in its culture and heritage, offering a variety of cultural events and festivals all throughout the year. This diversity offers a sense of cultural identity to the city. Since the 17th century, the city has been famous for its artistic figures, namely Rembrandt, Van Gogh, Jacob van Roosdel and many more over the years. The city proudly showcases its artwork all throughout. An old Dutch saying, God made the earth, but the Dutch made Holland, exemplifies the fact of a splendid array of architecture which perfectly harmonizes the old 16th and 17th century enchanting houses along the canal with an amazing combination of modern architecture. As a part of academic work, we the students of Joint Center Urban Design, Oxford Brookes University, accompanied by Professor Ian Bentley, conducted a field visit to Amsterdam from the 5th to 8th March 2009. Amsterdam was chosen as an ideal example to understand the history, ecology and urban sustainability of a city. Through this movie, we shall briefly narrate our daily experiences of the places visited. of Amsterdam. The Amsterdam canal system is the result of conscious and successful city planning. In the early 17th century, when immigration was at a peak, a comprehensive plan was developed that was based on four concentric half circles of canals with their ends emerging at the Idge Bay. Construction started in 1613 and proceeded from west to east across the breadth of the layout unlike the traditional center to outward layout. The construction of Northwestern was completed in 1625, while subsequently over the years, in 1656, the southern sector was completed. The construction of residential buildings then followed suit. In the following centuries, the land was used for parks, senior citizens' home, theater, other public facilities, and waterways. Over the years, several canals have been filled in becoming streets or squares, such as New Wizards, Purbagal and Spey. Amsterdam School Building Sheepwathas is a masterpiece of Amsterdam School. This school was developed between 1915 and 1940 with the direct influence of the Industrial Revolution. The building is richly decorated with various sculptures and fine details and highlights elaborate masonry work on the exterior. 
New Market Regeneration Area The New Market Square dates back in the 17th and 18th century, where originally it used to serve the purpose of a market, selling various local commodities like cheese, fish, herbs, etc. It is dominated by a huge castle which lost its defensive purpose when the city tore down its medieval walls. Today, the area offers a wide variety of local attractions to the visitors by housing a large number of restaurants, cafes, church, bank, houses and canals, town halls and more. An interesting feature of this place is the huge castle in the center of the square which has been refurbished into a cafe, bar, restaurant. Day one ended with a splendid journey across the old town of Amsterdam much as visioned in the photographs. A Malaysian dinner, after several hours of walking, was indeed fabulous. After which, all of us headed back to the hotel, which much excitement for day two's exploration.